Terry, obviously, uh, Matt's been impressive all year, but was there an at-bat or a moment tonight when you thought that this might be a, a special outing for him? Well, um, you know, I, I tell you, I thought Danny did, he and Danny did a great job preparing for tonight. You know, it's one of the things we've been trying to talk to Matt about, and that is, you know, he doesn't have to have his greatest stuff every inning. You know, and I thought tonight he went out at – whatever you might want to say, 85% or 80% of, and just said, I'm going to make pitches and see if I can get some outs, and he did, and that's what got him deep in the game tonight. Um, he, they got some outs, he's got plus stuff, and when he needed a 97, he was there. But um, I, I thought I thought Matt did a great job of getting ready for tonight's game. Terry, it, it seems pretty extraordinary to have him throw a, a complete game shutout with 80 to 85% of his stuff, as, as you uh, estimated. Well, again, once again, you know, it's tough to talk once in a while to you guys to, you know, because now it's etched in stone. They only threw 80%. That's probably not true. Uh, you know, he didn't need, you know, when a guy can throw 98 and he pitches at 95 like he did tonight, 94, 95, that's obviously not 100%. So write it however you want to write it. But, you know, what he did is he pitched. And he made pitches, got out. If he needed, if he got himself in trouble where he needed to go get, the 98, it was there, but um, because of, because of the fact that he was locating tonight, he didn't necessarily need that. We we talked we've talked last 12 months a lot about Matt, but one of the things is he seems to adapt to the team he's pitching against, and for a young pitcher, and Dan probably has a huge impact in that with him. But can you talk about a young player having that kind of sense of changing things based on opponents? Yeah, you know, Rich, I'm not sure how much, how far that goes, except for the fact that you certainly want to mix your strengths against their weaknesses sometimes. So when you sit and plan a game, like, and Danny is as good as I've been around planning a game, you know, uh, and I just know that, that he said, hey, look, you know, let's use some two seamers tonight. You know, let's make, let's get some, let's get some easy outs. Let's stay ahead in the count. Um, and, and you looked up in the eighth inning, he was still in the eighth inning with 80 pitches. I mean, last week in Miami, he had better stuff. But, you know, when he got to 100 pitches, he was worn out because he's working so hard because he's throwing 97 and 98. And uh, I just thought they did a great job, the two of them tonight, getting ready for this game. Uh, Terry, what is it like for you, uh, you know, in terms of looking at that game, and you obviously want him to get his first career shutout and all that, but you have to manage his innings going forward throughout the rest of the year. So what is that, what's that like? Does, does when, when Flores hits the double and you have a five-run lead all of a sudden, I mean, do you even, does it come to your mind, hey, let me back him out here and, and save an inning? Or, or, you know, when he gets hit by the line drive, do you then say, like, okay, let's just wrap it up for tonight? How, how does that all work for you? Well, um, when I let him... You know, when he got out of the eighth inning and he's at 90 pitches, he deserved to go back out there. You know, I, we can certainly, at a, on another night, to get him, cut him short, cut him an inning here and an inning there short, and we'll catch up to where we want to be as we head down the road. But you don't have any opportunities to pitch shutouts. And in, in, in the situation where he was at tonight with the pitch count, and you know what, he was cruising. I thought he was... You know, moving along fine. Heck, um, you know, if he doesn't get up to hit in the ninth inning, he's even more efficient. But I just said, look, I'll worry about making up those innings later. But right now this kid deserves it. I mean, I've sent him out there a lot of times where we haven't had enough runs for him or we didn't hold the lead for him. He deserved to go out there. And so, you know, once I, I told the coaches, in my opinion, we, this was a win-win situation. Number one, if he goes out and he pitches a shutout, he needs to know how to do it. And he's, not that he hasn't pitched a shutout in his life, but he hasn't in the big leagues. He, he needs to know how to do it. His innings, you know what, we're going we're gonna to slow him down anyway. But, you know, I don't know how many people were there tonight. 20,000 people came to see him pitch. They deserved it. You know, we're trying to create some, some excitement here in, in, on this team, and one of them is Matt Harvey. And they came to see him. They were going to see him. Terry, how impressed were you with Wilmer's at bats tonight, especially in the eighth and a big spot like that? He obviously hasn't faced anything like that. Well, we so. talked we talked about his offensive ceiling. And I thought, you know, tonight he showed some much better discipline at the plate than he did last night. Obviously, the first game in the big leagues, you can understand the, the jitters. But, 
you know, against Corpus, that was a good at bats because he's tough on right-hand hitters. Um, you know, he, fought, he got to pitch up on his own, which Dave told him before he went up there, make him bring the ball up. And he got a ball up and he hit it hard. But, you know, uh, Wilmer Flores can hit. That's why, you know, we got to find a spot for him to play pretty soon. Terry, you just said about Harvey, he needs to know how to do it, how to go out there. I mean, is it how much of a different animal is it to go out and finish off something like that? Tony, I think it's huge. I mean, in our world today where, you know, and I'm not picking on anybody in particular, but, you know, we're six innings with less than three runs as a quality start. Guys get paid for quality starts. To have that beast that wants to go out there and pitch the ninth, um, when it, with, especially with a five or six run lead, they're unique. And it's, it's good to have one. Matt, how special is this is to cross off the complete game and the shutout all at once? Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you know, to do it here and, and do it in front of these fans and, uh, you know, they've been behind me all year. It's, you know, it's a really special moment for me. How's that right knee feeling right now? It's fine. It kind of grazed off there. So I know the adrenaline's pumping a little bit, but, uh, you know, everything's fine. Uh, speak of that adrenaline, obviously the pitch count was low, you got some insurance runs, so there was really no question you were going to come out for that ninth inning. But when you did come out and the fans recognized what was happening, what kind of adrenaline did you take to the mound with you? Oh, uh, man, I mean, it's just awesome. They've been, uh, like I said, behind me all year, and uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Ron Darling and Keith Hernandez came down to the seats to get an even closer look at you tonight, and they were really impressed with uh, how you reached back for some extra giddy-up facing Helton in the seventh. What are your memories of that strikeout? Um, you know, I'd, I'd gone away from him quite a bit, and, uh, you know, I hadn't thrown him a fastball inside, so, um, you know, I just reared back and, and let it go. Now, I know you give yourself the 24-hour rule, win or lose, but what was the key to bouncing back from after being frustrated in Miami to have this quality outing? Well, it's big, you know. We, uh, we're making a push here, so, you know, that's, what, that's what's most important, and, you know, hopefully we can string together some more. Finally, how does it impact your strategy or your approach to work deep into the game knowing how shorthanded the bullpen is without edging in Parnell? Well, it's big. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's our job anyways as starters. And, you know, I take a lot of pride in going deep in the games. And fortunately enough, today I went all nine. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate the time. Go get some ice on that knee. Terry seemed to say he was most impressed with the way Matt sort of managed the game and didn't try to empty the tank and, you know, was able to conserve himself so he could go nine. What impressed you the most about his outing? Uh, being efficient with his pitches. Uh, when we had chances to put away, uh, he did that. And then when we had counts where he could produce a ground ball or, what, or whatnot or take advantage of a guy being real aggressive and, and taking that pitch, he uh, did that, which obviously kept his pitch count down. Seemed the signature moment was when he struck out Helton to end the seventh. Uh, what stands out about his ability to rear back and get some extra giddy up when he needs to? Yeah, he has that... Uh, that gift that God gives you to, to miss out over the plate and just get really good hitters to miss and, you know, seen it all year long. And, and, and to go along with that, he knows how to pitch. From your uh, point of view, what, what do you remember when he got hit and what was your sort of immediate reaction in the ninth? I just said, Ooh, that's got to hurt, but I don't, I don't think he would even let anybody see himself limping. So <laughs> uh, I, I know I'm sure it didn't feel good, but uh, played it off like it was just a... A brush. You've been around a while, but did you notice the crowd sensing, you know, that this was something special and that, you know, it was his first complete game shut out and getting pumped for the ninth? Um, I mean, all up until that, just that last hitter, the excitement. Uh, I think it was one of those games I, you know, feel like he's got something going every day, you know, so uh, uh, to go all the way to the ninth, and yeah, I guess that's, that's pretty exciting. Hey John, he, he's pretty mature, but I mean, did he grow up tonight a little bit as as a pitcher and how to pitch a game and win a game? Um, yeah, I think. I mean, maybe. I mean, it's, it's been pretty good all year, but uh, to see how if he makes those efficient pitches, you know, that what what the results will give him. You guys seem to have been a pretty good tempo and pace tonight. So did you work on that? Did you talk about that before the game? Uh, it's been something we've tried to work on. Anyways, you know, that's been mindful. Of if we can get him to be efficient with some pitches rather than, you know, trying to get crafty and, and maybe trick guys, he doesn't need to. And sometimes that'll that'll hurt him a pitch or two. But, you know, like I said, he's been throwing well all year. But to shave off those, you know, four or five, six pitches, uh, you know, every four or five hitters, then, you know, that makes him throw one more inning.